No, he's done a lot in golf. Seven wins on the PGA Tour and two on the PGA Tour champions. But Peter Jacobson is a whole lot more than a winner. He's an ambassador, one of the greatest the game's known since he turned pro 40 years ago. Uh, Mary said that. We've talked to him via satellite before. Great to have you in here, Peter. Thanks for Thank you. Hi. It's great to be here with you. 40, yeah, that puts, uh, that makes me officially old. I looked it up. We should be giving you a ruby to the, well, the commemorate 40th? your 40 years. Oh, is that what that is? Uh -huh. Get oh, I, I thought you said Rufy. I was going to say, what? <laughs> a ruby? A what? Let's I'd rather have an Emmy or something. I didn't know what that was. We stay away from rubies yeah, we'll on the show that. here today. No, it's, uh, let's, um, let's, get, let's get this out of the way, though. You two know each other. Let's yeah. break down the relationship yeah. here. Yeah, well, my tour caddy, Troy Martin, is Mary's husband mm -hmm. and really one of the great all-time people. Until I met this young lady. Until you met Mary. Troy used to Here's stay. Troy right here. He'd stay with us when we played down in Naples at my home. And he said, could I bring my wife down? And I said, sure, bring her down. So we fell instantly in love Aww. with Mary. So now whenever okay. Troy caddies, he stays at a hotel and Mary stays with <laughs> my wife and I. <laughs> yeah, it's Troy's, Troy's better when, Aww. well, if he doesn't stay at the hotel, he sleeps outside. You know, Peter, people <laughs> always say when they find out that I know you're little, and they always say, oh, I love him on TV. And I, I say, you are 10 times better in real life than what anybody <laughs> could even imagine just by watching you in a broadcast or watching you play over the years. It is our privilege to know you. Well, it's really fun. I played the tour for so many years and still play on the Champions Tour, but I'm now uh, transitioning into broadcast. And I'll be, I'm, I'm in my travel outfit, too, well, by the leaving, way. You're flying out at noon here. So leaving gotta... to go to the Ryder Cup and... I'm so excited about it. I love doing television. I love being a part of the PGA Tour. I can't be inside the ropes with the young kids mm -hmm. like Rory McIlroy and Phil, Phil Mickelson, although he's not young like Rory. He's still yeah. such a great player. But it's fun to be involved in the booth and be able to call the action. Yeah. You're in town. Uh, Creighton Prep last night, there was a banquet, a fundraiser. And that, that's what you're doing in town, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. I was there last night. Uh, such a great event. We had a lot of people there. Yeah. A lot, Mary, a lot of people. Was, Troy and Mary and I were together sitting at dinner. A lot of people. Yeah. And we, we reminisced. I, mm. I, I didn't really know what to talk about coming in. But when Arnold Palmer passed yeah. away, my really good friend, I told probably five or six mm -hmm. Palmer stories that meant a lot to me. Mm -hmm. uh, then we started, there's, there's a great picture uh, from the old days. But one yeah. thing you'll notice about Arnold, at least the pictures that Arnold and I are in, is Arnold is always laughing. Mm -hmm. We're always laughing because Arnold wanted to be one of the guys. And we were always laughing, joking, talking about golf, and just having mm -hmm. fun. And I know upon his, his death, uh, he, he thought about his family and thought about his friends. And that's really the most important thing mm -hmm. that he wanted to share with us is to, to love life, love the game, and give back. Mm -hmm. And so last night we told some really fun stories. Yeah. You, uh, when you turned pro 40 years ago, Arnold was, I mean, your entire professional career, he's been a part of yeah, it. Yeah. What, is there one story you can share with our viewers that you feel like represents your relationship the you, best? You're going to make me cry when I, I start talking that. about it. No, I'm not going to cry. I, I think that the, the, one, the one story that I go back to is when I first played with Arnold in an exhibition where four players play 18 holes, do a clinic, and then we're, we're done. We raise money for, for charity. We always sign hats and flags at the end of the day. And when you sign 30 or 50 or 100 in a row, you can get a little sloppy with your signature. So I was signing these hats, and all of a sudden, he grabbed me and said, what is that? And I said, well, that's my signature. And he goes, that is terrible. That's sloppy. That's no good. Next time you sign one, I want you to sign it so people can read it. You can sign a check or a contract real sloppy, but if you sign a piece of memorabilia, going to hang on someone's mm -hmm. wall, you sign it so they can read it. Mm -hmm. And that stuck with me. He told me that 40 years ago, and to this day, mm -hmm. when I sign mm -hmm. anything, an autograph, a flag, even a check, mm -hmm. or a contract or something, right. I do it legibly. So that is the, when you look at an athlete's signature now, mm -hmm. I don't care, football, baseball, basketball, golf, and you can't read it, yeah. Arnold always would say, that's shameful yeah. mm. because it's, it's respect is what it is. What was it about Arnold? You know, after his passing, you see all these news stories and, you know, he, he was so accomplished on the course. But that's not what we're hearing about here. We're not hearing about all the championships. We, we're, we're hearing about Arnold the person. What was it about him that stood out and, and, and made him so loved by so many people? Well, I think the most, the way I can put it would be that he was 
uncommonly authentic. And when I say that is, when you think of people in our lives, in society, that are authentic, it's really hard to pick somebody, somebody that you would do anything for, mm -hmm. and it's uncommon. And the, the two words that come to my mind are authentic and reliable. Yeah. Mm. If Arnold said he was gonna do something for you or for a charity, you could book it. You mm -hmm. could go to the bank on that. And again, that's something that I strive to be. I know we, uh, you mm. come on the air every day at nine o'clock mm -hmm. in the morning, or is it, what it's is it, eight o'clock? It is nine o'clock. <laughs> uh, Welcome to Omaha. That's really, thank you, that's reliable. Yeah. That's People reliable. turn you in, yeah. you're here every day and you do a great show. Everything Arnold touched, he wanted to put that type of honesty and integrity and authenticity to, mm -hmm. and he did. Yeah. Peter, you are heading to Hazeltine for the Ryder Cup. I would love to get your thoughts on it, but we're gonna get out of time. I do wanna, if, we, if you wouldn't mind, reflect on a recent sports event, your Oregon Ducks at Memorial Stadium a few weeks back, yeah. and Nebraska beat them. How'd you feel? Yeah. I'm glad you asked I don't even know. I, I'm glad I, you asked. I, I was I've been so that. consumed with golf that I didn't even know that Oregon right. and Nebraska played. I don't even know who, right. I don't know who won. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. yeah. Did they play? Well, here's some I heard you were getting we'll updates on the course for you, bud. <laughs> a couple weeks ago. True story, <laughs> Troy and I are out playing at Pebble Beach. Uh -huh. I mean, there's only one place that I would want to play golf, and that's Pebble Beach, yeah. to s skip my beloved Oregon Ducks playing <laughs> those, those bad guys from Nebraska. <laughs> uh, no, seriously, we were watching the game, watching the score, and uh, I couldn't be happier for, more, uh, for former Oregon State coach and uh -huh. now Nebraska uh, Cornhusker coach, Mike Riley. Class guy, uh -huh. wonderful person. Oh, you look real happy That picture here. we took, we set that up. We were eating, we were eating in the tap room, and Troy said, "Can we take a picture?" You so we put on, the hat yeah. on, and I gave it the, "I'm so upset." Look, <laughs> but it was. Uh, I'm really happy for Coach Mike Riley. Yeah. He's a class guy. Yeah. He's an Oregon native, mm -hmm. like I am. Yeah. So and you've um, known him for quite a few years. Yeah, yeah. just a good guy. Uh, Peter will be part of the broadcast crew for the Ryder Cup. If you're into golf, we know you're going to be watching hours and hours of coverage coming up. Fingers crossed for a USA victory there. Go USA. And our gratitude to you, Peter, for being here today. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you, Peter. So happy to have Good you on set. Person. Anytime, anywhere for you. Thank you, Peter. Yes, so the morning blend start their day with coffee.